Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today I'm going to show you how you could play, not Parasite Eve 1, typically don't have issues with that, but Parasite Eve 2 through AutoBleam on the PlayStation Classic. So a lot of people have been pointing out, hey, we're having issues, man. This game, it like crashes right in the beginning when you're at the little firing range thing. And I'll showcase that right now and then I'll do the fix and show you that it actually works. So we can quickly get into the game, just keep mashing start. The other thing I want to point out is I do believe Parasite Eve 2 is a multi-disc game and reading through a lot of the stuff that's going on on my Facebook group, a lot of the guys are pointing out that multi-disc PBP files are not working when you need to swap discs. So there's a bunch of people who are working on that, trying to figure stuff out and get, you know, some builds fixed, some certain, certain things done. Um, but if you're building your own Auto Bleam setup and you have multi-disc games, really what you want to make sure you do is don't have both discs in one PBP file. Either have each disc as their own PBP or use uh, bin and queue files for your multi-disc games. So that's where we're at with that. But let me go ahead and demonstrate this game crashing. I'm a little sick, man. That's why I've been kind of out of commission for the past couple days. But okay, so as soon as you get here where you're in a little firing range, if you walk toward the door that you need to exit out of, the game just crashes. Just like so. Crashed on me. So we're going to have to reset and get out of here. Now, the way we fix this, and for me, it's a pain in the butt. Um, I probably wouldn't play this game on the PlayStation Classic. But I guess I, I got to take that back. It's a pain in the butt to me because you have to do this process every single time you boot up the game. So we're going to go ahead and... Hit X to get into it. Soon as the PlayStation logo pops up, select and triangle to get into the emulator settings. So from here, we have to do a couple things. We're gonna go to the PCSX menu. Uh, let me see if I could, I know where we have to go. I just don't remember the names of everything. Uh, BIOS and plugins, and then configure built-in GPU plugin. And I believe, let me double check my notes here, guys. We just have to turn on enhanced resolution to on. Um, both of them and the speed hack on. So that's how this screen needs to look. And there's one other thing we have to do. So let's go ahead and get out of there. Uh, it's going to be in advance and go into speed hacks. And right here, the only thing you're going to mess with is the CPU clock percentage. And we're going to put that to 70. And that's pretty much it. So boom. Now we can exit out of that. Um, I guess I haven't tested it, uh, but possibly you could save the config for the loaded game. I'm not 100% with that. I was told that you have to do this process every time you, you load this game. Um, but if you wanna test out saving the config for that loaded game, it might work, it might not. We can actually go ahead and, I don't even care. We'll do it, we'll test it out. So we'll save config, config, config saved. All right, let's get into the game and see if it crashes on us. And then I'll go ahead and exit out, go back into it and see if it crashes uh, without doing that. Because if we could just save it and it's good, uh, I mean, I might be more inclined to wanting to play this game on the classic. Uh, but if I have to re reset those settings every time, it's kind of kind of annoying. You know what I mean? But we'll have to see. I was just told that you need to set that every single time you load it up. But let's go ahead and get to that point. So that's a good thing you can easily test this. That's enough, we don't care. That's enough for today. So with those little hacks that we just did, um, you do have the enhanced resolution. So you see there's some smoothing going on. Looks quite a bit better, honestly. Let's see, did it freeze? No, it did not. So there we go. Now we can go, go on with the game, keep playing, so on and so forth. That's a good thing, but like I said, I was told that you have to reset that every single time you uh, load the game. So I've already tested doing this, backing out, um, and going back in. And yeah, I had to reset everything. But since we saved that config, let's test it. I'm going to go ahead and reset. Hopefully this helps some people. Um, I know a lot of people want to play this game. Okay, boot it back up. And typically when you boot it back up, your configs you know, that you set prior they're not going to be loaded. So let's see if the game loads with the, uh, the saved config files. Typically, people have been saying to not save configs because 
it, it could mess something up. But if you're saving per game, I, I'd imagine it wouldn't mess anything up. But we'll just have to see. I can't tell if the resolution hack is on without going into the settings. But we'll find out right now. So th that was all I really wanted to do today was get this uh, quick video out. No, it doesn't look like it. Let me see. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're going to have to set those settings every time. Yeah, so unfortunately it doesn't save. Even if you do the save config per game, didn't do jack for me. So it is something you're going to have to do every damn time you load the game up. But people were interested. I brought this up previously that somebody had showed me how to do this. And hey, the game works. You just have to do those two little hacks. Um, you know, save this video, go back. I'll put a little uh, description in the description of the menus to go to so you can do it every time. But once you do it once, you'll, you'll remember. So really do appreciate it, guys. Smash that like button. Make sweet ass love to that notification bell. I'm going to go back to sleep, man. I got to get better. I've been feeling sick past few days. It is what it is. Make sweet ass love to that notification bell. PlayStation Classic love. That's what I'm talking about. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, guys, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.